hello guys welcome to you all in this new video in this video i will show you how to make a rfid based door lock system here uh, we are looking that there is a display an rfid card reader an arduino nano module and a 12 volt solenoid door lock i have uh, total three rfid tag this two tag looks like a business card and this is a key but all of them is RFID tag. Here I have noted that this card is authorized and this card is, card is unauthorized. The key ring is all, also authorized in this program. So that if we scan this card in our RFID scanner, the door lock will open. And if we scan this unauthorized card, the door will don't open and it will uh, give a message that access denied. Let's see. At first, I will test using authorized card. The door open. Now, I will use the authorized key ring. The door also open. Now, if I use this unauthorized card, it gives a red signal and here it shows a message that access denied. We can also open the door using a manual push button okay after pushing the button the door open okay now let's see how to make this project at first we will see which component will need to make this project to make the project we will need the following components at first we will need a arduino board here i am using arduino nano you can either use arduino nano or arduino Uno. both is same and the code will be remain same a RFID card module. The card module will come with this package. Here one RFID card scanner module, one RFID card and one RFID card ring system, key ring system. Okay. We will also need a LCD display. This display is 20 by 4. You can either use 20 by 4 or 16 by 2 LCD display a 5 volt one channel relay module this relay module will be used to switch the solenoid door lock the 12 volt solenoid door lock to lock the door a buzzer one red led and one green led a push button breadboard some jumper wear lm2596 dc to dc step down module this module will be very helpful for this project because here we need both 12 volt power supply for solenoid door lock and 5 volt power supply for our arduino and other components so that I am using this step down module to convert the 12 volt to 5 volt and we will also power the solenoid door lock directly from the 12 volt input. Finally, we will use this DC 12 volt 2 ampere power adapter to power our project. Or this is our component list. Now let's see how to connect all the components together by following the connection diagram. Okay guys, I have connected all the components by following the connection diagram. Here I am using a 12 volt 2 ampere DC power adapter to power all the project. Here we need 5 volt to power the Arduino Nano, the relay module, and all other components of this project and we need 12 volt power supply for the solenoid door lock so that here i am using this lm2596 dc to dc stem down module at first i am powering the solenoid door lock directly from the input the input is 12 volt and here i have converted uh, the 12 volt to 5 volt using the potentiometer and the output 5 volt are directly giving to the Arduino Nano to provide the power to our all other components. Here 
it's an important note for all of you that here I am using a diode with the solenoid door lock because the solenoid door lock have a electromagnetic coil so that we must need to use a 1N4007 diode parallelly with the door lock ok now we need to upload the program to our Arduino Nano after uploading the program our project will be fully ready to use let's see how to upload the program to our Arduino Nano ok guys now we will upload the program file to our Arduino Nano for that I will give you a file link uh, go to the link and download this file after downloading the file we will get a zip file like this at first we need to unzip this file for that right click on this file and click on extract here after extract we will get a folder like this enter this folder there is another folder named library here I have included the two library need for this project we need to copy this library file and go to the documents of our computer and go to the Arduino folder then go to the libraries and now we need to paste these two library I have already added these two library so I skip this step now go back to our main folder which I have downloaded now uh, we this is the schematic diagram of our project we must need to connect all the components by following this diagram and remember to add a diode uh, like this way with your solenoid door lock this is the solenoid door lock i don't have the solenoid door lock first so that i have uh, added this uh, to just uh, give you a idea about that the connection diagram okay now open the sketch file for that we must have the arduino id in our computer okay uh, the program file open in our arduino id software now uh, we need to change some little bit in our program we have already added our library now uh, go to your uh, this pitch of option click right click on this uh, 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 icon and go to the manage option then go to the device manager and find out the port number of your arduino nano here the arduino nano driver is usb serial ch340 and it is connected on com7 port now go to our program file uh, and go to the tools section we must select the board as arduino nano because here we are using arduino nano select the processor as it maker 3 to 8 p select the right port which you have already watched here that our arduino nano is connected on com7 and the programmer sorry and the programmer will be avr isp isp mk double i okay now we need to change the master tag id here but uh, for that at first we need to upload this program to our arduino nano okay i will upload the code but it's not the final upload we need to upload this code again uh, but at first we will upload this code to find out the tag id now which tag we will authorize for our project okay how can we find out the tag id for that upload the program to arduino nano and go to the serial monitor now the serial monitor is showing me that I scan your card now if i scan a card the serial monitor showing me that the card detected and it's showing me the tag id this tag id we need select the tag id and copy by control c now we need to update the tag id uh, by pasting it here now if i uh, scan this card again the uh, it will be authorized and the door will open so if you have multiple card you must need to scan the card first and uh, change the tag id here okay here i am uh, authorizing two rfid card if you want more then you can add here and just change the condition from here okay 
now if you uh, scan your uh, tag id and paste it here now it's the final upload for your project upload the program again but i don't change anything because i have already uh, scanned my tag id and i have used it here okay uh, now we will go to our project and we will test the project again is it working properly okay guys we have successfully uploaded the program to our arduino now the project is fully ready to use i have previously shown already that how our project work now we will check the project again at first i will uh, test the authorized card okay the door open now i will use the unauthorized card and access denied if i use the authorized key ring okay that door also open and we can also open our door manually by pressing the push button okay guys our project is fully working and we have tested all the rfid card i hope all of you understand how to make this project and you will also be able to make this project by yourself if you have any question about this project feel free to comment here and if you like this video please subscribe the channel and share this video with others thank you for watching this video see you next time again